Old Dominion will host yet another satellite football camp tomorrow, and Coach Bobby Wilder and his staff will be welcoming coaches from Penn State, Syracuse, and Virginia, among others, to its campus. More than 500 high school players are expected to show up, and Nathan Epstein joins us to tell us why satellite camps have become so big. Satellite camps are all the rage these days. College football coaches providing clinics to potential recruits, like the ones hosted by Old Dominion over the last few weeks. The biggest thing that we're trying to do is get out here and connect with kids, become educators. For college coaches like ODU's Bobby Wilder and Michigan's Jim Harbaugh, who made the trip to Norfolk last week, it's a chance to go beyond just the film. You get to see them in person, you get to watch them, you get to coach them. Um, coaches are so hands-on. We want to see how the kids react. For the players, an opportunity to be seen. You know, I equate it to a, a job interview. If a school comes to Old Dominion, you know, that might be the first time a kid from this area, from the 757, you know, sees that school. You know, that's the first time they've seen, they didn't even know Fordham had Division I football, and now they do. You know, and that's another opportunity for a kid from this area to play collegiate football. One, two, three. Ron Whitcomb, ODU's fiery quarterbacks coach, says he wouldn't be where he is without a satellite camp. That's how I got my scholarship at a satellite camp. As a high school recruit, he received one scholarship offer from the man who would be his quarterback coach at the University of Maine and is now the Monarchs head man. And he saw something in from me. I didn't hear from him from six months later. And Super Bowl Sunday before signing day, Coach Wilder gave me a call and gave me my only scholarship offer. And I started for him for four years. Coach Wilder believes camps like his extend the same opportunity to others. There's thousands of kids that play high school football. They all can't afford to go to Michigan and Wake Forest and Alabama, so we brought all those schools here to them. And three more big names, UVA, Syracuse, and Penn State, are all headed to Hampton Roads on Thursday. In Norfolk, Nathan Epstein for the Sports Rat.